Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Stephen Brennan with another OnlyFans video. So I know a lot of you are curious and interested in growing your own OnlyFans and I know a lot of you are watching my videos and trying to make some coin. So let's get straight into it. Let's get the tips and tricks out to you so that you can become mainstream on OnlyFans. If you are wanting to make thousands a month from OnlyFans, please know that it is possible. You just have to put in the work. So before we get into the video, remember to leave this video a big thumbs up so I can make more videos similar to it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell button so you get alerted every time I upload a new YouTube video. And leave this video a comment with any questions and I will definitely get back to you and answer them. Growing on OnlyFans is one thing, but getting into the top 1% is another. You could go for that top 0% and eventually we will, but let's just get that top 1% first because it's so achievable. You can get that within a month or less if you just work hard. I got into the top 1% on OnlyFans in just around a month and I was so happy. I feel so blessed to be in the top 1%. If you are a regular watcher on my YouTube channel, you will know that I am documenting the experience and I just want people to watch these videos and know that it's possible to actually make something of yourself on there or just on social media in general. So yes, if you do want to get in the top 1%, the first thing that we're obviously going to talk about is promotion. When you make an OnlyFans account, tons of people just seem to think that you make an account, put your picture in it and people are going to sign up. That's not the case. No one knows that you've made an OnlyFans account and OnlyFans, the website, does not push your profile out to people on it. It's not like Instagram where people come across your profile. It's like you're putting a treasure chest and burying it into the floor, but no one knows it's there unless they really go searching for it or you tell them the exact location. Meaning that you have to promote yourself. Now, a lot of people will promote it on their Instagram or their Twitter or I think maybe Reddit. I don't know, I don't use that, but I use TikTok. I have a platform on there, so every time I upload a TikTok video, you know, an eight second or 60 second video on TikTok, I will put in my caption, hey, subscribe to my OnlyFans, it's only $4.49 right now, get it while you can. And then I will get a couple signups. So that's really helped me and I urge you to start TikTok if you haven't already just because you can build a audience on there quite quicker than other platforms at the moment just because TikTok is still kind of fresh. So TikTok is what I use to promote my platform but I know Twitter is definitely the one to do it on as well because you can post content on there. Regarding subscriptions, I make my subscription really low and I learned this from the one and only Trisha Paytas. Just because if you are doing low subscriptions, then more people are going to sign up to your account. And you as a viewer may be watching this and thinking, well, if my subscriptions are really low, I'm not going to make any money. That's not the case. Subscriptions is not really where you make your money anyway. It's what comes on OnlyFans. You can get tips and you can sell content on OnlyFans, which is called EPV, pay per view. So you sell a picture or a video and someone chooses to buy it and then they have it. And that is really where you make your coin. So by having a low subscription price, that means that more people are going to sign up to your profile. And when more people sign up, then more people are willing to tip you or buy your content. So that's why I always have a $4.49 OnlyFans just because I know it really helps people as well. Like I've got so much content out already and it's just a really great deal. People see before they're signing up that I've got lots of videos and pictures out so they wanna see it. And that is what I would advise you to do. If you want to get in the top 1%, you need to be on it with your content. You need to be making content, pushing it out every day, definitely every week. And I also know a lot of creators don't post a lot on their main page, but this creates a bad service and that means people don't pay for another month subscription however if you as a creator post maybe five times a week on your main page then people will think okay i'm getting my money's worth i'm gonna put my rebuild on and pay for another month and another month and another month and therefore you have secured a subscriber 
So definitely be on it with your content, spice up your content. If you can collab, collab. If you can make personalized content, make it. Just be willing to do anything, but be aware that what you put out is out. It's not in your control anymore. So be aware of that. However, also be aware that you can sue people if they leak your stuff. I think what a lot of creators need to do as well is share their referral codes a lot more because personally, I'm going to share my referral code with you and it's not just for my benefit, it's because when you use my referral code, I will get alerted on OnlyFans, which means that I personally will give you the tips and tricks how to grow on OnlyFans and yes, I'm making a YouTube video about it, but this is really just the core of how to grow and get in the top 1% of OnlyFans. When you're on the website, you can see that there's a lot more features that you wasn't aware of and just how to communicate with people on your OnlyFans. So if you are interested in being the best you can be on OnlyFans, use my referral code. I'll link it in the description down below and also the comments. So once you do that, drop me a message on Instagram at Stephen Brennan and then we can get talking and I can help you grow on your OnlyFans. To be in the top 1%, you need to be very active. Very, very active. And you shouldn't always wait for messages to be sent to you. You should be sending out messages every day. Luckily, if you have hundreds of people on your OnlyFans or thousands, you can use the option of select all and then just send out one message which goes out to everyone. So if you want to send out a message saying, hey, I'm making personalized content today. If you would like some, please hit me up. Send that out to hundreds of people and then you'll get a couple replies. And then that way you can make some content for people. And when you receive money, it also helps you boost up into the top creators. So money and getting fans on OnlyFans are really the two ways of boosting your profile. When you are in the top 1%, you're respected a lot more on it. People don't take you as a joke. So if someone comes to my profile, they're more likely to sign up to it than not to because they can see I've got lots of content out already. I've got a couple thousand likes. You can tell that people are enjoying what I post. And furthermore, when someone comes onto your profile, all you really have to show them is your banner photo, your main photo, and then your bio. So please, please, please sell yourself in it. So for my main picture, I just put a picture of my face, and for my banner, I put a sexy picture. And then for my bio, I put a really good description of my OnlyFans that really sells it. And I urge you to do the same. If you want to get those subscribers, you have to make sure that your profile looks good because when people are signing up to it, they can't see your content. They can only see those three things. So make sure that they are appealing. I'd love to give more tips on how to get into the top 1% creators on OnlyFans, but for now, I will leave it. So make sure you leave this video a big thumbs up and I will make more videos based on this. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell button so you get alerted every time I upload a new video. Leave a comment and subscribe to my OnlyFans. It's only $4.49 right now. I'll link it in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.